Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photography talks. So today I'm going to talk about passion. What kind of photography really is your passion? And I know some people have a lot of different kinds. Some people like portraits and landscapes. Some people like animals or, you know, shooting their pets or some people like to just shoot a little bit of everything and travel and I really have focused so much my whole life in documenting stories and I was thinking about what would be my dream job. And I photograph some rich, important people and I photograph some celebrities and I photograph some politicians and, and of all of those, those don't really make me the most connected to my subject. I think the ones that I find the most connection with is when I'm photographing older people and I'm documenting them because they want and I want to create something that shows who they are. So I have a setup coming up in April of this year and I'm going to be going out to the Longmont Senior Center and spending two days out there photographing the seniors. And people are signing up and people are getting excited. And then we're going to have a opening of the photographs at a show featuring them in early May. And to me, that is such a treat to be able to photograph them because I'm, I'm making something that is like so important that is going to be a part of their family for generations to come. And I'm shooting them with lighting. I'm bringing both film and digital and it's one of those things where like, if you had to say, well, what would you most want to do? Yeah, I like shooting news. Yeah, I like shooting uh, personality portraits. But those folks, I think I like doing that even more than I like shooting, you know, famous people. I feel like that's often where we go toward, you know, well, if you're successful, you're shooting the most famous people. And I would make a suggestion or a thought that the only thing that matters is photographing the most important people. And those are the guy next door and the guy up the street and the woman over there and all those people that are just ordinary people whose lives are just as fascinating and important as a celebrity, except for they're not known in, in a public circle. But that's really... I was thinking a lot about that recently and it's like those photos mean so much. Those photographs have the soul of who those people are. You also have a little bit more time to work with them because there's no publicist knocking on the door in eight minutes saying, okay, come on, get out of here. And I would love to be able to just take this project around the country and go out to senior center after senior center. And I'd photograph young people too. It's not a, only about older people, but certainly those older folks, really nobody's photographing them well in a quality studio setting in a way that captures their personality with a spark. I'm not talking Sears and J.C. Penney portraits. I'm talking about capturing their light and using light to photograph them in a way that, you know, I bring my big studio flashes and I create a little studio. I create a little a little stage and a little set of importance because it's important that they be photographed and I bring a set that looks like it's the setting for somebody who's important. I have this Victorian furniture you've seen me on in some of my earlier videos and I like using that and it's just such a fascinating thing. I could see myself traveling around the country with that furniture and just going from senior center to senior center and creating these photographs of these personalities, these wonderful souls, these people who, you know, have lived such a rich life. And I don't know if I would want to do it if I were doing it just to, you know, chase the next celebrity cover or to do the publicist thing, at the, you know, to be doing that. And I guess I haven't done a whole lot of personality portraits of celebrities, so I can't really speak for, well, you know, I've done so many. I photographed them in places. I photographed, 
politicians in places where they are anyway. I didn't have one-on-ones with them all the time. So I guess in some sense, you know, I'm not discounting that. I, I just am trying to think out loud of what I really want to be in New York going after that market. And, or if you didn't, well, what would you want to do? And I came up with this thought that I really would like to just go out and document the, the real people. And I'm going to get to do that in April here locally. And it'll be fun to do that show. And maybe that'll spawn some more interest in the Wise Photo Project. But I really think that there's a tremendous need for quality photographs in, a, in an age when everybody's just photographing each other with a 28 millimeter lens on their smartphone. And we can do better than that. And the photographs I make can live and last because I print them and I put them in little frames. And they exist. You can hold them in your hand. So that's what I was thinking about. Passions. What kind of work makes you the most excited? If you had to go work it and chase it and make it your lifestyle and your living, what kind of work would you most want to do? I've done plenty of event work. I've done plenty of journalism and coverage and I've done plenty of portraits and the portraits is what I keep going back to. That's what I really love to do because I capture a little light. I capture a little bit of a, you know, the, the spark in their eye. It might be my flash catch light too, but that's also part of it. It's important. It's important to make those photographs. All right. That's today's photography talk. What's your passion? Put those in the comments below. I'd love to read those and I'll reply and you have a good week. I will bring back more photography talks next time and here's to good light.